Halloween's now less than a week away, and even though the holiday is known for spooks, the Sioux City Police Department wants to make sure that no one faces any real dangers. KCAU 9's Rebecca Pryor tonight joins us live from an early trick-or-treating event with some strategies to keep young children safe next Thursday. Rebecca? Yeah, Tim, I've seen some pretty spooky costumes out here today. Everything from witches to vampires. Another popular favorite is that creepy ghost from the movie It. I've seen a lot of that. The Sioux City Police Department is hoping that that's just about as scary as it gets. Giving me some helpful tips today. They say one of the first things you can focus on is your kid's costume. They say that the masks shouldn't cover their eyes or impair their vision, as well as what they're wearing shouldn't be too long, something that they can trip over while they're crossing the street. But with some other helpful tips, here is Jeremy McClure, from the Sioux City Police Department. Travel in a group, cross at the intersections, carry a flashlight with you maybe to help some of that visibility, and then just be cautious of where you're walking at through yards, and, and there's also trip hazards on the sidewalk. Expect your candy afterwards and be leery of people in cars. You know, watch out for cars and definitely don't take anything for someone in a car or get into a car. There are also plenty of alternatives to traditional trick-or-treating, like this trunk-or-treat event. Kids are going safely trunk-to-trunk trunk in one single parking lot instead of door-to-door -door out on the streets late at night. So you can keep that in mind as well. And we have some other tips coming up for you tonight at 10. But for now, reporting live in Sioux City, Rebecca Pryor, KCU 9 News. All right, Rebecca, thanks for the update. Tonight again more at 10. Meanwhile.